What's up, YouTube, you other viewers? Oh, went right for the eyeball. Oh, the other eyeball. Pretty fancy. Pretty fancy way to get your food, huh? Huh? Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Okay, never mind. Never mind that command. You're busy. How's everybody doing out there? Hopefully everybody's having a nice day. Staying positive. Staying stony. Got a glass cleaning episode lined up for y'all today. Gonna be product testing the orange chronic. Right there, right there. So I'm gonna set you guys up over here. Maybe get involved in one more quick dab before before uh, getting into some glass cleaning. Oh, hey everybody. I'm gonna put on some music here. I don't own any of the rest of the music. Music is provided by Mr. Token Daily. So as you can see, these pieces are all oiled up. Barely sticking together any... Well, there. They're sticking together too much now. Yeah, so I'm going to use uh, just this regular orange chronic right here. We use this isopropanol alcohol, alcohol and uh, just some coarse salt, which you can just find those two things anywhere. You want to get the 99% isopropanol alcohol. Can you get a nice little dab together here? You don't want to get too, too medicated before cleaning your glass. You want to still be very focused, not to drop anything. Gotta love the token daily jam, eh? Just a beautiful composition of music. So yeah, as you can see, just even taking this dome off is quite an ordeal right now. Gonna get it cleaned up, get it all back to brand new-ish. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this nail on a hot surface over yonder. <coughs> and good to go. So the first thing that I do is I heat up my water. I think we need some more token daily jam, actually. Aw oh, yeah, token daily jam for days. So first I do like a quick rinse. I just get some water, hot water. The key to a lot of cleaning is hot water. I just, uh, yeah, run some hot water. 
over the glass pieces. This piece is completely gunked up. It's got a solid coat. What I do is I uh, get some brand new concentrate or uh, brand new cleaning concentrate and I'll use that. And then uh, after using the cleaning concentrate, I'll put that into a different bottle and I'll recycle it. So this stuff has still got like a little bit of resin in it, but I'm sure there's a scientific formula to somehow just extract the medicinal properties of this mixture, but I'm no chemist. Not yet can aspire for such things. So I put a little bit of the mixture into my piece. You've seen Token Daily do this, he just shakes it all about. It is the accurate way to go about this. So I'm just shaking it. What I'm going to use, I'm actually going to throw some of this stuff in. Just because of how heavy the buildup is right now. I probably smoked about five or six grams through this piece alone. That's how the that's how it built up to what you see. So yeah, lots of shaking about. Token daily mix, all good. So Going to take the recycled stuff, pour it back in. I'll take a... I don't think that you really need to clean your dabber all that much, but I guess we'll mix it in with the glass this time. Just for funsies. Now what I'm doing is I'm letting a little bit of the cleaning concentrate soak into the paper towel so I'm not going to waste too much. I'm going to start the first rinse of this piece. And for rinsing, yeah, just hot water, just all the way through. You wouldn't believe the results. <laughs> So already it's just quite miraculous. I'll explain in a second why it was actually so easy. And it has to do with why I use so many little glass components. So I like to get a really good wash through here because of the isopropanol alcohol that was used. Yeah, so this piece looks pretty good. So when cleaning pieces, I think we all know that the hardest part is to clean just the littler pieces. I'm gonna put on token daily mix again. That shit is tight. So this dabber is pretty much already. It's good to get your dabber back to pristine condition so you're not cross-contaminating, you know, using one oil for one here and it'll burn it up and then if you use the next here, you'll still get the taste of that oil and you just want a fresh here every time. Well, that's my taste anyways. So 
So the littlest of the pieces, just the little joint piece. I had that clear one that you guys saw before, that I used before, that connected onto the joint piece. But I was, uh, I was carrying these pieces like this, with the nail on top, because I was going to take the nail off. And I forgot, and this piece slid out like this, and I hit the ground. It still works, it has a, but it has like a huge cut through here. Maybe I'll show it to you guys later. It's got a little assemblage of broken glass for sure. So one tool that I use is just like a screwdriver. You know, I pick a screwdriver because some of anybody's got lying around. And you can just it usually fits into any joint. Now these pieces, like look at how the water's already kind of grouped together, the little oil spots. Just gonna take some paper towel that I had soaked in the cleaning concentrate. And I'm just using the force of the screwdriver just to work this around here. Very simple stuff. Just take cleaning concentrate that's on the paper towel. I use the screwdriver and I just lightly and carefully try to hit the sides. Try to get it all proper again. Really the key is just a little bit of patience. A little bit of grunt work with the screwdriver and either whatever cleaning concentrate you use. The isopropanol method is pretty good. So already, like, I didn't even try that much, and that's already getting pretty good. But I'm gonna let that soak again. This piece is all fucked up. Tons of oil. What I'm gonna do for this one? I'm gonna pour a little bit of the cleaning solution into the dome itself. cycle it back through this piece. And, most importantly, I'm going to put on token daily mix. Shout out to Token Daily. Shout out to the person who remixed this song. It's quite the epic. So I'm ready from one quick use. I just like I did. I missed the side there. It's getting pretty clean already. Once again, it is all about just some paper towel, whatever blunt object you use. I'm using the screwdriver. Try not to waste too much. I mean, when you're using cleaning solution, it's pretty hard to just be perfect about it. Every little bit of cleaning solution is maximized. I'd be interested in seeing your cleaning videos. I'm going to go uh, put the finishing touches on the joint piece. Again, 
just, I like to just use the hot water. Hot water packs a punch. You want to always be careful to hold the glass really good in your hand. The worst is if you, if you break your glass while you're cleaning it, that's the biggest burn. Because when you break your glass normally, like the one positive is like, oh, at least I don't have to clean it now. But when you break it when you're cleaning it, it's just like, oh my god, give me a break. Still not super happy with this joint piece. But the oil was really, really backed up on this. Maximally. Maximally. You don't want to get it to be too sticky. Alright, this piece is good. That's it up the side. Let me go back to the dome. It's still a little bit cloudy. A little bit more solution. The nice thing about the Orange Chronic product is that it, uh, it has some sort of a soap mixture as well. So, the positive of the soap mixture is it does look, it makes it sparkle a lot better, but it's also a lot slipperier, so you have to be really careful. So that's getting back to absolute pristine condition. I still know that this joint piece is a little bit sticky. Sometimes I'll go back to pieces when I'm cleaning them, set them for a bit, know that I'm going to be hitting them again. See if you let them sit for a bit, those cleaning properties are still lingering a little bit until you go for the final dry. Dry everything off. Now that's back to really good shape. Definitely after using any of the isopropanol, you want to use soap to wash your hands. That shit is not to get on your skin, so let's show you. That's what we got. Beautiful clean glass. Put it back together here. Picture the nail sitting over yonder. Oh yeah, ready to dab. Hope you guys enjoyed this glass cleaning episode. Have a good one. Peace.